In the winter time, I had the most epic backyard setup, but in the summer, well, it could use a little work. So in this video, let's add a few upgrades. All right, if I drain this, we're gonna start a trick shot account. Behind the back, no lucker. Here we go. Oh, we have a problem with the sport court. Uh, we do have to add some weight to that so it stops falling over, but that's not the problem. The problem is, it's too dang hot. There's like, there's just no, no shade at all. We're, we're just baking out here. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna try to figure some things out. Oh, and the other problem is that every time Hayden shoots, he misses the net every time Hayden shoots. <laughs> and then I have to run and get the pox from like the woods. I mean, I just have to get his from over here, but when I miss the net, I have to go to the woods. <laughs> so we're gonna put something there to keep the pox in. We're basically just doing upgrades. I'm thinking over here, this area was great for the fire pits in the winter time. We had a nice setup, chilling here, having fires, but I'm not really gonna get the fire going when it's like 30 degrees. Then. So we're gonna kind of repurpose this area. Show what we're working with. Let's go to the woods. I planted a little currant bush there. You know, have some snacks, no fruit on it yet. Maybe next summer, but you know, play there, eat some currants. Apple tree, you know, we need fuel by the rink in like three years, that'll produce some apples. Hayden, how's your accommodation doing? It's good since you put it back up after it collapsed. So this is what we're looking for. Um, safety hazard right there. We need posts, I'm thinking uh, like four posts. We need some stakes. If you've been keeping up with the videos we're posting, this is the hockey rink that I hit in the, it's a full like 30 by 60, triple high boards. It's, it's nuts. Let's see how this thing's holding up. I think it's looking pretty good. Oh, look at this spider. Is that? No. It looks it's like a spider. Yeah, I mean, it's holding up well. I think it's keeping the water out. Little swimming pool for the rats up there. Ew, it's brown. Drink it, drink it. It's got nutrients. <laughs> got what the body needs. Mm, nice earthy flavor. Take a peek under. There's definitely gonna be nice in there. You think so? I don't want to take it all apart, but stay tuned uh, for, you know, December, November, December, we'll be taking this apart. We'll see if, if mice made a little- it's like a nice warm sauna for It's in good, there. yeah. We'll see if there's a mouse condominium in there. Trying to grow mushrooms there. It's not working. It just looks like you dumped some hay there. There's mushroom like uh, mycelium in there. There were some salamanders living in there. Oh. Did you know that uh, we have like lizards in Ontario? Have you ever seen a salamander? Yeah, I, I found one at school one day and took it home on the bus when I was like eight. <laughs> In your pocket? I, no, I like held it in my hand. It was just chilling. <laughs> it was a little red salamander. I held, I had it for like three days. That's hilarious. And then it died. Hmm. Oh, I didn't feed it. <laughs> what do you? What do they even eat? I don't know. There's a nice worm. That's what I thought it was at first. It was a little family. There was like a mom and it had like a little baby. Eh, looks like they moved out, and I don't see any mushrooms either. We're looking for spikes. We got this. I don't think there's any more. So we will have to make a trip to the hardware store. Oh gee! <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Is the camera okay? <laughs> you just, I'm sorry I didn't signal. You okay? Your yeah. face okay? I'm alright. Right. Right. Camera? I mean it seems fine. Okay. Still yeah. recording. Right, go. oh, look at this tree. These are the worst things in the world. They're uh, Japanese beetles. They're invasive species. Ugh, go live somewhere else. All right, let's go to Home Depot. All right, got some uh, four by four posts, which uh, now that I look at it, they do look a little shorter than the ones that are already here. What's this? Is there? Well, you know, these ones have lights on them, so uh, 10 foot ones were cheaper. All right. One here, one in the middle. Uh, we're gonna get some shade sails to put up there to like, get some shade on. Uh, need some netting. All right, got the netting, skill saw, and a baby. Is this yours? No. Oh, jeez. That's just in the garage. Thought she was yours, but I'll find a place for her. There you go. That's yeah, a hockey net. If you're a goalie, you can like go down here. I always thought it'd be super comfortable if you could just like lay right there. It's kind of like a little hammock, right? We do need like a cutoff 4x4 to kind of pound that in. Oh, that's perfect. That'll work. 
Let's get her done. Oh, look. Pretty much installed. <laughs> Just put the post Just in. Put, put the post in. <laughs> they have ones that uh, will Sorry. rotate. What are you saying? They have ones. Look at the size of that ant. Whoa! <laughs> Buddy was living in the log. He's like, what the heck is happening to my house? Guys, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> you know, if, uh, if I was still a kid. And... <laughs> <laughs> what else can I knock out of this thing? It's kind of going a little crooked. <laughs> the sword in the stone. Can you pull it out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> How hard, like how deep you're supposed to put it. I feel like the more seated it is, the better. Let's see if it's pretty straight up. <laughs> it's probably a little better if it's going out like that. More the netting. Area. Well, no, the netting will naturally pull it in. I'm gonna put one in the middle here. See, the real reason that I'm putting this up is to protect the potatoes back here. I gotta get a good crop so my family can eat. I keep shooting the pucks into it. I mean, if Hayden keeps... <laughs> and always eyeball it. That's what a, a good... True professional. Good carpenter once to told me that. Always eyeball everything. He also said, uh, let the, let the electricians figure that one out. Work gets yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. So before I had, so I had two nets. I had one on this end and one on that end. For this one, I'm gonna make it go from there and then around. Right. So it's like a cage. Right. And we just won't shoot that way. Yeah. Yeah, but I just figured it'll stop like deflections, like zipping off that way and this way. Yeah. Kind of have that nice like enclosed area for shooting. Yeah, I wonder how many pucks are just in the near vicinity in the bush over this way. A numerous And amount. how many uh, new blades the neighbor's uh, lawnmowers needed to be replaced? <laughs> Here's the trick, is you cut it on uh, stage four and then it just grazes right over the pucks. Here's cutting, right over the top. Oh, hockey puck. All right, just chuck it back in there. That's actually going in real nice. Hey, and you would have had this done in just one swing, right? Just. Oh, oh jeez. Well, <laughs> thank you, Log. Uh, perfect timing to get that last one. This one took a lot more to get in than the rest of them. So hot. <laughs> Zombie. Let's get the posts up. Get, are you going to make a shot? You going to hit that it? that net, huh? I was going to do one hand. Oh, oh okay. Let's With the camera. Come on. Nope. Oh, that was pretty close. Almost started a second channel. Cameraman trick shots. Only yeah. <laughs> Cameraman, like the same perspective. Yeah. This is easy. We just gotta tighten the bottom okay. and the poster installed, and then we'll throw the net up. Expert installation. Tell you though, it's way better than digging. So we got a really simple technique here to hold the netting up. Basically, just throw some screws in along the post, wrap the netting around, and hook them into the. Yeah. Get a little glue in there. <laughs> Who picked this post from the Home Depot? It's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. I like the, whistling into the I like the feeling because it's like you're protected. Like if you want to play goal and you just, you know send one. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, soccer balls, basketball. Because like, you get a basketball going off the hoop, right? You get like a basketball going off the hoop, and then you're like, oh no! Oh, look, it's just right there. Hold it in for you. Yeah, money. You just need some shade down here. Maybe some ice cold. Bio steel. I the kids to hang out here all day long. Kids are like, oh, it's too hot out. I just want to play on the iPad. <laughs> nah, get outside. All right, if I drain this, we're going to start a trick shot account. Behind the back, no lucker. Here we go. <laughs> oh, close. Oh. But at least the netting worked. Money. I'm going to stick to hockey. Oh, yeah, baby. So, unlike this sport court, Hayden and I were made in the shade. I'm going to take a break. We'll come back tomorrow, install the, uh, the sun shades. 
Oh, and we got a little uh, chair to build over there. Throw up an umbrella. The place is gonna be balling. <laughs> All you need is some music now. Oh, some tunes. Yes, outdoor speakers. Oh. That's in the works too. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Later.